friends, hello seekers of the truth. This time I would like to review the book Transylvanian Sunrise from Radu Sinamar. We will first read the back of the book. Transylvanian Intrigue In 2003, a remarkable and unprecedented archaeological discovery was made in the Bugetchi Mountains of Romania. Hidden in these mountains near the border of Transylvania, there is an ancient sphinx which rests amongst the picturesque megaliths. Through the use of state-of-the-art satellite technology, the Pentagon detected a mysterious sealed chamber not too far from the Romanian Sphinx. Through the highest levels of Freemasonry, the Pentagon was able to secure an alliance with the most secret department of the Romanian intelligence service. Together, the Romanians and the Americans utilized the Pentagon's secret technology to penetrate this chamber, which was otherwise inaccessible to humans. Transylvanian Sunrise is the real life history of Radu Sinamar, who had the opportunity to visit the secret site where he witnessed a holographic hall of records left by an advanced civilization and three mysterious tunnels leading deep into the bowels of the inner earth. Transylvanian Sunrise chronicles the political intrigue surrounding the discovery of these modern-day artifacts and gives a concise and coherent description of them, the prospect of which represents of a new era for mankind. In this book, a young child named Cesar is born with special abilities. He can see the other world very clear and feels and sees the vibrations of thought streams everywhere. He is trained by a secret department within the Romanian intelligence agencies. He learns to control his ability and he is recruited by Department Zero. He is not alone in the facility. There are many children that have unique abilities. One child can predict 24 hours into the future and what is going to happen, but only 24 hours. After the US made a ground radar inspection of the Bugacci Mountains in Romania, they found large tunnels leading into a base into one of these mountains in Bugeci, Romania. High-level Freemasons did everything to get their hands on this base and formed an agreement with Department Zero of the Romanian Intelligence Service. They used fusion drilling machines to drill towards the entrance of the tunnel that leads to the base. The tunnels were very huge. Once they crossed the energy barrier at the end of the tunnel, they found themselves inside a huge base where chairs and tables were seen. But their dimensions were huge, like made for giants. The technology became alive after Cesar made a telepathic connection to the technology inside the base. And the entire history of the Earth and Romania was shown in less than one and a half hours. Cesar says that practically all of history is fabricated and that the masses outside are not showing the truth on important historical events. The holographic projection went on to show the history of important personalities that influenced the course of history in the course of thousands of years. The two soldiers guarding the entrance to the holographic chamber were always stunned at the presentation, although it was not the first time they have seen it. The first part of the book goes on about the young child Cesar that was born with special abilities, that he was recruited by Department Zero, and he had access to the space inside the Bugacci Mountains. He goes on to say that high-level Freemasons offered him a position within their ranks, and he said that you do not have a choice once they offer you a position. You either accept it and join their plans for world conquest and dominion, or they make your life very difficult if you do not accept their proposal. The author of the book writes on how powerful Freemasonry has become worldwide and how powerful its influence is on the world. But we all know that it's the high-level Zionists like George Soros and the Rothschilds that truly govern world affairs and that high-level Freemasons are all Zionists or Zionist-controlled. There is no major institution in the world that is not controlled by the Zionists. But back to the book. In his younger years, Cesar is noted for asking his parents, What are thoughts made of? Where do thoughts come from? He goes on to say that all people generate thought forms, and these thought forms can be read by an attentive observer. You just have to train your mind strong enough to be able to perceive these thought forms of the other people. It's essentially reading their thoughts. Once your mind is strong and ready enough, you can even communicate telepathically with other people. It's like a voice inside your head if it's done correctly. You can also telepathically communicate by using images or photos. The most interesting part of the book are the last four chapters where they show the entire base inside the Bugacci Mountains. There are three tunnels set to be connected to this base. These tunnels go for thousands of kilometers. One is set to go to Egypt near the Sphinx, one tunnel is set to go to inside the Earth, to the inner world of Agartha, and one tunnel is set to go to Tibet. We will now briefly look at the schematic of the projection room, where the entire history of the Earth can be viewed in 3D. Transylvanian Sunrise Here we can see the interior plan of the projection room. Around the room you can see the rock wall of the mountain. Here are three tunnels. Tunnel 1 leads to the inner earth of Agartha. Tunnel 2 leads to Tibet. And Tunnel 3 leads to Egypt. Here we can see devices whose functions have not been identified. In the middle we can see the holographic projection dome that displays images from mankind's history 
and an amphora that contains dust of Mona to make gold. And further we see a filmy semi-cylinder that contains devices designed for amplifying salt energy. Furthermore, we can see a support platform, and on the left and on the right, we can see the T-shaped tables from the holographic projection room. And down below, we can see the entrance into the projection room. I found the book the most interesting in the beginning of the story, where Cesar is introduced, and of course, the final three to four chapters, where the base inside the Bugetti Mountains is described. If you want to read the book, you can order the book on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified and if you can make a small donation, the links are in the description. Many greetings from Saxony, Germany and ciao!